Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The main downside of a mesh network is that you lose some speed with every so-called hop. Netgear's Orbi works differently than traditional mesh systems. It has a dedicated Wi-Fi band, or connection, in which only the router and satellites can talk to each other, no other devices can interfere with their connection. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. With mesh Wi-Fi satellites positioned throughout your home, you get a much more consistent, even speed wherever you go in a building. In fact, you could get a satellite for every single room in the house to make sure your devices run as quickly as they possibly can on your internet service. Take our lead. In a mesh network, every link, or hop, between routers will decrease the bandwidth by half. This happens because wireless links can only do one thing at a time, transmit or receive. In a long chain of mesh links, this results in a very slow connection from end to end. Make your mark, take our lead. A good rule of thumb is to place the second node halfway between the router and the dead zone as you would with a range extender, but limit the distance to no more than two rooms, or about 30 feet. If you're using more than one satellite, follow the two-room rule. Make your mark, take our lead. The modem is what connects to the internet, the router part is the transmitting of that connection over Wi-Fi. So, while a mesh system will replace the router part, you'll still need to rely on the built-in modem. Take our lead. Mesh systems also tend to be delivered more as a service with automatic software updates, monitoring, and even add-on security services like Linksys Aware or Netgear Armor. If you need anything more robust than a simple router solution, mesh networking makes a lot of sense. Make your mark, take our lead! Too many devices Internet of Things, our homes are increasingly filled with Internet of Things devices, each of which sits on the Wi-Fi network with its own IP address. Having too many devices on the Wi-Fi will slow it down. Solution. Consider how old your router is, and if you can afford to upgrade to a newer model. Take our lead. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Google Wi-Fi's much larger range per node can be a problem if you have to place them too close together. As you move around it can get better or worse, and you can end up scanning and hop from one node to another which can affect your network speed. Take our lead. A mesh router system, on the other hand, doesn't require constant reconnection, even as you move from room to room. You also won't have to deal with as much lag, as the access points all broadcast the same signal, rather than having to route requests through multiple networks. 3. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Mesh networks are typically not as fast as a hardwired network. Choosing between a wireless access point and a mesh network may come down to cost of the devices themselves and their installation, and speed or performance you're hoping to achieve. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe and hit the bell notification.